In 1999 the Brazilian army initiated a study to replace the EE-9 Cascaveu armored reconnaissance vehicle, as well as the EE-11 Yurutu armored personnel carrier. Both of these armored vehicles were developed by Ingesa in the early 1970s. By the time these armored vehicles were in service for nearly 25 years and were becoming outdated. In 2007 a contract was signed to develop a new Brazilian armored vehicle with 6x6 configuration. Initially it was known as the Urutu 3. The project was also known as the VBTP Mister. In Portuguese this acronym stands for a wheeled medium armored personnel carrier, basic platform. The new armored vehicle was jointly developed by Italian Iveco and Brazilian MOD. At that point Iveco already designed and produced a number of military vehicles. A mock-up was revealed in 2009. Development was completed by 2011. In 2012 Brazil ordered a first batch of 86 Guarani armored personnel carriers. These were delivered between 2013 and 2014. Full-scale production of the Guarani commenced in 2013. A second batch of 24 vehicles was ordered for delivery in 2014. By 2019 a total of 400 Guarani armored vehicles were delivered. The armored vehicle replaces aging EE-9 Cascaveu armored cars and EE-11 Yurutu armored personnel carriers. Total requirement of the Brazilian military is for over 2000 new armored vehicles, however no funds are available. The Guarani is manufactured in Brazil with local content of about 60%. In 2023 Brazilian president announced that Brazilian military will acquire another 156 Guarani vehicles. Argentina also expressed interest in obtaining 14 of these APCs. Currently the Guarani is the most advanced armored vehicle, being produced in South America. Some sources claim that the Guarani is based on Italian Iveco Super AV Amphibious Armored Personnel Carrier. The Guarani in fact might use some technology of the Iveco Super AV, but it is a smaller vehicle with a 6x6 configuration. Instead is 8x8 AD on the Super AV. Armor of the Guarani provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Vehicle can be fitted with add-on composite armor for improved protection. This armored personnel carrier has a V-shaped hull, which provides protection against landmines. Interior is fitted with a spall liner. Several options of weapons are proposed for this armored personnel carrier. It might be fitted with remotely controlled 7.62mm, 12.7mm machine guns or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Variant with 30mm cannon and anti-tank guided missiles is also proposed. Vehicle has a crew of two and is designed to transport nine troops. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via the rear doors or roof hatches. The Guarani is fitted with modern battlefield management systems, which is used for navigation, positioning, mission planning. It also displays nearby friendly units. Vehicle is powered by Iveco Cursor 9 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 383 horsepower. Engine is located at the hull front. It was planned that this engine will be produced in Brazil by Fiat. Engine is mated with an automatic transmission. Vehicle has a hydropneumatic suspension. This APC is fully amphibious. Modular side floats can be added for improved flotation. Baseline APC can be airlifted by the C-130 Hercules or by AIM Briar KC-390 future Brazilian military cargo aircraft. Brazilian Army also issued operational requirements for a number of derivatives of the Guarani. This new family of vehicles will include command vehicle, technical assistance vehicle, armored ambulance, 120mm mortar carrier, fire direction vehicle and 8x8 version for Brazilian Marines.